It's the most controversial and most vilified of all professional sports. Mixed martial arts combat. You might know it as ultimate fighting. Yet soaring TV viewership has turned the ultimate fighting championship into one of the sport's hottest properties. Now President Dana White tells Bloomberg that the UFC's owners may be willing to sell a stake to outside investors. Bloomberg's Greg Miles is here, and I'm sure, Greg, with another challenge for me, I know you've got a few moves of your own. I'll, say, I'll teach you the anaconda <laughs> choke uh, right at the next segment. You'll have to take uh, the day off, Will. UFC is grabbing a growing share of TV viewers age 18 to 49, Madison Avenue's most coveted consumer audience. Revenues are soaring from live events, pay-per-view TV, video games, and DVDs, hitting an estimated $300 million this year. Some analysts value the property at up to $1 billion. Until now, ownership of UFC has been held solely by Dana White, who owns 10% of the company, and two majority partners. But White told me in an interview that UFC would consider selling 10 to 15% of the company to a private investor. That's a possibility. But you know what? You have, you'd have to find, for what, for what we value this thing at, you'd have to find somebody right now with a lot of cash laying around, somebody who's got a lot of cash, who wants to come into this business, you know, get a piece of it, and just kind of sit over there and not tell us what to do. Well, the sale would enable them to monetize a property that Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta bought for only $2 million a few years ago. Now, UFC fights frequently attract more viewers than pro football and hockey games, and it's not just for men. More women are watching UFC fights on pay-per-view TV and also flocking to live fights in the U.S., Canada, and Europe. We're breaking records, not only all over the country, but all over the world. Um, when we take this live event places, and let's say, usually we're number one, the Rolling Stones are number two in, in live gate. Yeah, I'm sure Mick Jagger wouldn't like that uh, very much uh, to hear that. Yeah, it's too bad for Mick. <laughs> <laughs> well, rolled over Beethoven, too, you know. But uh, So be prepared to learn some new moves as uh, this sport becomes uh, a lot more popular. I mean, I this one ain't stopping despite all the critics. And as you mentioned in your report there, it seems like women like it as well. The stereotype is more for men. They're on Spike TV. They have good distribution. But It's striking 30 to 40 percent of some audiences. It's amazing. Yeah. Greg, you may have some of these hot moves, you know, that you're willing <laughs> to demonstrate for us, perhaps. Oh, look out, look out. There we go, there we go. <laughs> He's coming right, through the TV. What's your name, Greg? We need to know your name, your fighting name. When you're not I was thinking here, of a few. I was thinking about, at the garden. I was thinking like Greg the Money Man Miles, and it'd be <laughs> Eric, don't mess with Eric Mean Man. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to take you on, Greg, because you remember, I'm a Canadian, and in my camp, I've got Ooh. GSP. This is Jean St. Pierre. This is the guy ranked as one of the top pound-for-pound -pound fighters by multiple sources. Is he the, he is the, the welterweight champion of the UFC. I have a nasty feeling, Greg, that he could take you down. I'll take one right now. Come on. Come on. All right. That seems like a really good place to leave it.